Спасибо пацанам с Чеварека за блестящее взятие нас в плен и распетушение остальных групп. Слава Юарек, слава Украине! Russia faced certain problems regarding the financing of the war in Ukraine. According to Oboz Revitel media outlet, this is expressed in the fact that the Russian military will begin to receive less compensation for injuries during hostilities and will also be forced to pay for equipment damaged or lost during the war. As reported by Russian media, the deputies of the State Duma of Russia have already adopted in the second and third readings the law that will oblige servicemen of irregular military formations to pay for equipment damaged or lost during the war. The cost of lost or intentionally rendered unusable property, equipment and weapons will be deducted from their salaries. In addition, they will be held financially responsible for damage caused due to carelessness. The penalty will amount to no more than one monthly salary and one monthly seniority allowance. Volunteers are also subject to material liability for theft, intentional destruction, damage, spoilage, illegal use of property and other intentional actions. Previously, such responsibility was assigned to conscripted and contract servicemen. In addition, Kremlin dictator Vladimir Putin approved new rules for payments for war injuries. From now on, they will receive 3 million rubles for serious injuries, 1 million rubles for minor injuries, 100,000 rubles for other minor injuries. Despite the fact that the maximum amount of payment remained at the level of 3 million rubles, the updated rules actually mean a decrease in payments for injuries, because previously the severity of injuries was not taken into account. At the same time, in 2024, the military expenses of the aggressor country will amount to 11.1 trillion rubles or 30 billion rubles per day and accordingly 210 billion per week. Russia's daily spending on the war in Ukraine exceeds the weekly budgets of 80% of the regions and one of them annually spends as much as is allocated from the federal budget for the war per day. Oboz Revitel also reported that in 2024, the number of visitors to clothing and footwear stores in Russia fell sharply. The strongest reduction occurred in the fall. Meanwhile, Russians began to drink more alcohol, and the number of drinking establishments, bars, pubs increased significantly in the country itself. The Russian government's decision to stop paying wounded soldiers is being met with protests. Those serving in the military as well as those whose relatives are in the military are dissatisfied with this decision. This situation is expected to negatively affect the combat capability of the Russian army. It should be noted that the government of the Russian Federation, following instructions from Vladimir Putin, has sharply reduced payments to soldiers wounded in the war against Ukraine. This will allow the country to save billions of dollars, according to the Russian government. Until today, occupying forces were receiving 3 million rubles, or about $100,000, for any injury. The Russian government has introduced a three-tier scale where the amount of compensation depends on the severity of the injury. The most seriously wounded will continue to receive 3 million rubles, which was previously guaranteed to all injured soldiers, according to the document. Compensation for medium injuries has been reduced to 1 million rubles, while for light injuries it is now 100,000 rubles or $1,000. Experts believe that Putin's decision will cause serious discontent in the army. According to Bloomberg, Putin's relative and deputy minister of defense, Anna Sivilieva, raised the issue of how to distribute compensation more fairly earlier this month after visiting a hospital in Moscow and meeting with soldiers and doctors who voiced this idea. Payments to the wounded represent a large portion of Moscow's war expenses. According to analysts from the War on the Rocks, platform, by May 2024, one-time payments will amount to 900 billion rubles or $9 billion for the wounded. This data is based on information from France and the United Kingdom, according to which losses by May had reached 400,000 with more than 100,000 killed. The families of the deceased 
received around 14 million rubles, enough to buy a Lada Kalina car. Payments for the killed will amount to no less than 1.4 trillion rubles. In total, the sum will reach 2.3 trillion rubles, which is 6% of Russia's 2024 budget. As a reminder, Vladimir Putin, by his decree, ordered an increase in the size of the Russian army by 180,000, bringing the total number of personnel to 2.39 million with the number of soldiers increasing to 1.5 million. According to British intelligence, the war in Ukraine has become an expensive endeavor for Russia, especially in terms of personnel. Since the start of the war, Russia has lost 610,000 people killed and wounded, 